All right, let's take a trip across the universe. Well, at least in our minds. Let's start near home. About 16 light years away. Meet Gliese 832. Ever heard of Gliese 832? It's not just a cool name, it's a real star. Sitting about 16 light years away from Earth, practically next door in galactic terms. Now Gliese 832 is a red dwarf. Think of it as the chill, smaller cousin of our sun. If our sun runs a marathon, Gliese 832 is running an ultra marathon. But here's where it gets wild. Gliese 832 has its own exoplanet, Gliese 832 c. A world discovered orbiting this red dwarf, it caught a lot of attention. Scientists once dubbed it a super Earth, which basically means it's bigger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. And get this, people actually wondered if Gliese 832 c could be a real life version of Star Trek's Vulcan. Sci-fi fans and astronomers both got excited. Could Spock's world be out there? The planet orbits in the star's habitable zone, the Goldilocks sweet spot, where temperatures could allow liquid water. That's the same kind of zone where Spock's homeworld might be. But don't pack your bags for Vulcan just yet. Turns out, Gliese 832c probably has a super thick atmosphere, making it more like Venus, hot, dense, and not vacation friendly. Still, it fired up the imagination of astronomers and sci-fi fans everywhere, it's fun to imagine. But here's what we actually know. Now Gliese 832 isn't just about that one planet. There was talk about another big planet, Gliese 832 b, a gas giant further out, a big neighbor in the system. Imagine a mini solar system chilling out just a short hop from Earth, cosmically speaking. It makes the galaxy feel smaller and more reachable, which is thrilling for astronomers. As for planetary disks or baby planets, so far, astronomers haven't spotted any protoplanetary disks around Gliese 832. But that doesn't mean there aren't secrets left to find, and that's what I love about these nearby stars. They make space feel a little more like home, and a lot more like Star Trek. Science fiction meets science fact. Suddenly the universe gets a little bit smaller and way more exciting. It sparks curiosity and the urge to explore, and keeps astronomers looking. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll beam up and check out Gliese 832 for ourselves. Until then, imagination is our spaceship, and science keeps grounding our hopes. If you think glancing at distant stars and hunting for exoplanets is as awesome as I do, hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. You'll get bite-sized space videos every week. Until then, keep looking up. There's more out there than we can imagine. See you in the stars.